Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. It's Question Tuesday, and even though there's like 7,500 people watching me talking to my video camera, I am still going to answer as many of your questions as I can within four minutes. The first question, and arguably the most important, is this. I signed up for the mailing list, but I can't seem to get your emails. Why is that? It's either because our emails are going to your spam folder, in which case you need to unblock nerdbot at brotherhood2.com and hank at brotherhood2.com, and also look in your spam for the emails, or else it's because you have Hotmail, and for some reason the emails aren't getting to you at all. We're working on that. Anyway, sign up for the mailing list, it's going to be the best mailing list ever. Next question, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? It is indeed true that woodchucks cannot chuck wood, but one wildlife biologist calculated that if they could chuck wood, they could chuck about 700 pounds per day. Will you marry me? That would make me a felon, and I don't want to go to prison. Nerd fighters don't win in prison. Why is the name of your website Sparks Fly Up? It's taken from a line in the book of Job from the Bible. Man is born to trouble like the sparks fly upwards. What's your stance on gay marriage? I'm for it. How many books do you own? Around 1,300. Would you ever clone yourself? Yeah. I know how well it works out because I've watched Star Wars. Who's Hank? Hank is a mass of incandescent gas located about 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way. Hank is responsible for 99.8% of the solar system's mass. If you stare at Hank for too long, you will go blind. Mind. Are you dreading the end of the year, or are you looking forward to it? There's a great writer named Amy Cross Rosenthal who taught me a word, wabi-sabi. I feel very wabi-sabi about all of it. If you could live off one kind of poison, what would it be? That's one of those massively hypothetical questions, like, would you rather live in a house made out of human bones, or would you rather have to snort all of your nutrition through your nose every morning? But just because it's massively hypothetical doesn't mean I don't have an answer. A house of human bones, and definitely cyanide, because it tastes like bitter almonds, and they're delicious. What's the best video game you've ever played? Wii Tennis, 2,399 skill level for the win. Can an SUV owner be a nerd fighter? Clearly yes. Hank, check that out. Hank, I've switched airports, but I'm still answering questions. Have you guys ever noticed that Hank looks kind of like Ryan Philippe and John looks kind of like Tim Robbins? No, I didn't know that, but thanks. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Tim Robbins is 49 years old. What do you find so appealing about Walt Whitman's Song of Myself? You'll find out when Paper Towns comes out. When does Paper Towns come out? September. Heat vision or power to fly? Definitely power to fly. R. Kelly and I have exactly one thing in common. We believe we can fly. How long have you been playing video games? Since Christmas Day 1984. Favorite beetle? John. Favorite color? Green. Oh my gosh, Hank, if you combine my answers to the last two questions, you get, like, me. I think I'm slowly undergoing a change from nerdfighter in training to full-fledged nerdfighter. How will I know when that has occurred? You will wake up one morning and notice that instead of the blood that has always been coursing through your veins, your heart will be pumping only awesome. Are you Mary Tyler Moore? I don't think so, but then again, Mary Tyler Moore and I have never been seen in the same place at the same time, so I suppose it is possible. A man walks upstairs, turns off the light, and goes to bed. The next morning he walks downstairs, reads the paper, and promptly commits suicide. Why? The man was a guard at a lighthouse as a result of him turning off the light. A ship wrecked. He read about it the next morning, and as a result he was so despondent that he committed suicide. Riddle? Pwned! What is your opinion of the 1969 concert Woodstock? I'm sure it was an excellent concert, but there's no way there were enough public toilets, and I have a strict policy against attending under-toileted events. If you had a monkey, what would you call it? Bubbles the nerd-fighting monkey. What does the Yeti look like? She looks kind of like a kitten wrestling a rainbow. What did you do before Looking for Alaska was published? I was the star of a television show called The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Do you think it's inevitable that humans will one day be controlled by robots? Unfortunately, I actually think that people will go extinct before robots can take us over. How many questions do you think you can answer in four minutes? I don't know, but I know this. I can only answer two more. What's our scavenger hunt clue? In New York City, there is a baby penguin. That baby penguin is flanked by two baby Washington monuments. If you open the door to one of those Washington monuments, you will find a prize. When will you see Hank? Tomorrow.